So I thought I wasn't going to make another video tonight, but then all of a sudden I realized that uh, we have new Tempai Dragon support and these cards are amazing. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Avery here. I'm very tired, it's after midnight, so I'm sorry I'm not in my usual peppy self. Uh, and also I'm sorry for no intro for those of you who like the intro, we're just going to dive right on into this. This is Tempai Dragon of Genroku, level 3 Fire Dragon effect monster. You can only use the first and second effect of this card to him each once per turn. If this card is added to your hand except by drawing it, you can special summon it as a tuner, then you can increase its level by 1. The deck finally has another tuner. This was something that was a massive bottleneck for the deck, because you could just go like Prohibition or even Black Goat that laughs and like call it Zongdora. And, like, you just can't play the game because you don't have another tuner. Um, so, yeah, th this really helps. Quick effect, you contribute this card. Special summon one Tempai Dragon Monster from your deck except itself. Also, you can't special summon for the rest of this turn except Dragon Monsters. We don't care. If you can only special summon Dragons, then you can still do shenanigans with Dragon Link. Th this, this card's insane. This is a fucking lone fire. Okay, good. I'm past the first minute. <laughs> this this thing's a damn lone fire. This trap is out of this world. So this is Sangin Kaiho. Remember that this can be searched by Baidora because it says a Sangin Speller Trap. Normal trap card. You can always the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. During the main phase, if all monsters you control are fire dragon monsters, minimum one, and your opponent controls more monsters than you do, end this main phase. What? <laughs> are you kidding me, bro? Friggin' made me hiccup, man. My god. If three or more attacks were declared this turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard, draw one card, and you can special summon any number of Tempai Dragon monsters from your hand. This card is fucking incredible. Like, why, Konami, I have to ask, why are you printing so many custom cards in 2024? Like, this trap is. We do you even need to play Heat Wave anymore? Like Nationals is gonna be crazy for Tempai. I'm playing Tempai for the rest of the year probably. And then they redid um Pokey Draco, which was a level three fire. And the original Pokey Draco said that when it was a normal summon, you could add another copy of itself to hand. And they kind of keep it in tune with this one. But this is Dora Draco, level 3 Fire Dragon Effect Monster. You can only use the first effect this card's name once per turn. This card's normal summon, you can add a level 4 lower Fire Dragon Monster from your deck hand. That's incredible. Once per turn, you can exit the top card of your deck. And if it's a Fire Dragon Monster, send it to the graveyard. And if you do, this card gains 1,000 attack for each Dora Draco you currently control. Otherwise, place the Excavate card on the bottom of the deck. That doesn't really matter. So yeah, three new cards. What's this top comment say? This Oh, this posting format's illegible. Eh, it's kind of illegible. My god, these three cards are absolutely insane. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, if y'all are going to Nats, this shit will be out by then. Uh, Tempai Dragon is going to be tier 1. Uh, we can already King Calamity lock turn 1. Um, so I'm very curious to see what happens here. So, But we're still we're still cooking up that King Calamity uh, combo. I'm still kind of working on it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next flipping video. These cards are insane.